Hey guys, welcome back to Cinematic Cosmos Critique, where we explore the magic, mysteries, and mayhem of the wizarding world and other topics. And today we're diving into the battle of the two most iconic spells in Harry Potter. Expecto Patronum and the Cruciatus Curse. One spell brings forth life from the depths of your happiest memories, while the other plunges its victim into unimaginable agony, channeling the caster's darkest desires. Let's see how each of these two spells, despite their differences, reflect the emotional extremes of the visiting world. So first up, we have Expecto Patronum. It's not just a fancy incantation, it's one of the most powerful defensive charms known to wizards. When Harry whips out his wand and shouts Expecto Patronum, a glowing silver creature bursts forth, acting as a shield against the mentors. But why does it work? The secret lies in the emotional depth behind it. To conjure a Patronus, you need to dig deep and find your happiest memory, your most positive, joyful thought. It's about tapping into your inner reservoir of hope and love. This is why it's so tough. Even some of the greatest wizards can't produce a Patronus. It's a magical embodiment of all that is good within you, a literal light in the darkness. Now let's take a dark turn with the Cruciatus Curse. Unlike Expecto Patronum, which draws on happy memories, the Cruciatus Curse feeds on pain and suffering. It's one of the three unforgivable curses, infamous for its cruelty. The caster channels their anger, hatred, and desires to inflict pain into this spell. The more the caster wants their victim to suffer, the more intense the agony becomes. It's a dark reflection of the wizard's darkest impulses, pure malice. Bellatrix looks strange when she tortures Neville's parents or when Voldemort uses it to make his victim scream in agony. It's a clear thought that this spell is a manifestation of the darkest corners of the soul. While Expecto Patronum requires you to focus on your happiest memories, the Cruciatus Curse demands the exact opposite, your deepest rage, resentment, and desire to harm. This is where the true contrast lies. Expecto Patronum is fueled by happiness, hope, and love. It's a reflection of the caster's inner light and expression of the good they hold dear. It's no wonder that Harry, whose life was full of dark moments, finds solace in the memories of his parents when casting his Patronus. It's his beacon of hope against the darkness of Dementors. On the flip side, the Cruciatus Curse is born from darkness, an outlet for the caster's worst emotions where Expecto Patronum acts as a positive force, the Cruciatus Curse is an attack, a means to transfer the caster's own inner turmoil and inflict into one another. Like it's pouring all your hatred and anger into a single painful strike. So this duel between Expecto Patronum and Cruciatus Curse isn't just about magic, it's a battle of ideologies. One spell represents light, the other darkness. It's a classic good versus evil scenario. Harry uses the Patronus to protect others, standing as a symbol of hope against the darkness that threatens to consume him. Meanwhile, Death Eaters wield the Cruciatus Curse as a weapon of control and fear. What's fascinating is how both spells reveal so much about their caster. A powerful Patronus speaks to a wizard's capacity for love and happiness, while a devastating Cruciatus Curse exposes the penkent for cruelty. It's a reminder for those choices we make, whether to dwell in the light or scum into the darkness. Hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of magic, wizarding world, or any other stuff. Until next time, Cinematic Cosmos Critique, signing out.